Interest rates are moving higher. It's almost like they're on Elon Musk's rocket ship going straight to the moon. In this video, we're gonna answer two questions. Number one, what's going on with interest rates? Number two, what's going on with the housing market? And relative to that, what should you do now? Why are interest rates going up? Well, let's take it back to 2008. In 2008, there was a mortgage mess. The market was in absolute shambles. What the Fed did was they jumped in and they started buying mortgage-backed securities. What this did was this pushed down interest rates. Kind of think artificial, big hand pushing interest rates down. The Fed jumped in again in 2020 with COVID and they further pushed interest rates down to the point where we got to a 2.5% 30-year fix last summer. Historically, we'd never seen anything even close to this. Now we have inflation. And what the Fed typically does during inflationary periods is they increase interest rates. Right now on my side of the desk, the Fed is unwinding what they do. Sometimes you'll hear the word unwinding. They're selling mortgage-backed securities. And this is having the opposite effect. So we've moved from the 2.5% to the 5% interest rate as a result of them selling mortgage-backed securities. Ultimately, sometime this year, we may see a 5.5%, maybe 5.625% interest rate. What impact does this have over on the housing market? Well, the housing market has its own issue. Coming back to the payment, if we have a $500,000 mortgage and that interest rate goes up 1%, that has about a $300 increase on the monthly payment. If we say two percentage points, if the market's gone from a 3% to 5%, that has about a $600 increase in the monthly payment. Coming over to the housing side, we said it has its own issue. Its own issue is inventories. We need about 2 million homes on the market as a nation to have equilibrium in the housing market. We don't have that. We're around 875,000 homes on the market and we don't have a huge influx of homes being built right now. So what does this mean? Right now, home prices are going up almost every single month because we have more buyers then we have sellers. Anytime you have that problem, you're gonna see home prices move up. It's a supply and demand thing. As a result, um, we're maybe seeing a few people drop out of the home market uh, because of the increase in the monthly payment, but we're still not seeing enough people drop out, which begs the question, what should you do now? We've been telling people for years to buy homes. Buy homes while the Fed is pushing down interest rates, buy homes because there was a supply and demand curve and we saw home prices moving up. None of that's changed. We still see a supply and demand problem that doesn't look like it's going to get resolved anytime soon, even with interest rates going up. Our personal recommendation is that people still continue to look at buying a home, especially if it's going to be a home that you're going to be in seven to 10 years. We think over that seven to 10 year period, you're going to see considerable historical uh, increase in the price of the home. If we can do anything to help you, give us a call. We're here to tell you not only what you can do, but what you should do. And our personal recommendation right now is that homes are gonna continue to go up and that people still uh, that need to buy a home, that need a place to live, continue to look at homes as a great asset. Thanks so much, have a great afternoon. Call us if we could do anything to help.